Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Clary and I'm your Transformational Nutrition Coach and today I wanted to talk about the best way to get strong. So today I actually did some kickboxing which was amazing. I haven't done that in forever and it felt so good. I was like, why haven't I done this? <laughs> why did I stop doing this? Um, and I started to notice that I was kicking a whole bunch with my right leg and Every time I kicked with my left leg, I felt pretty bad and went back to kicking with my right leg. And this is because my right leg is way stronger. I have better form. Um, my body just doesn't feel weird. I don't feel retarded and stupid. And um, I actually felt really good because um, I felt like I kicked with it really strong and it made me feel good and it made me want to continue exercising and doing what I was doing even more and hitting it even more. Whereas when I kicked with my left foot, I felt stupid and retarded. I felt like there was no strength. My form was horrible. I felt like my body was just like going all over the place and wasn't doing it right. And um, I started to feel bad. I was like, Ugh, this doesn't make me feel good. And I feel so weak and vulnerable and not strong. And this is lame. And then switched and did the other foot and went back to my right leg. And so then it kind of dawned on me like, why am I stopping because of that, right? And I started to realize it's because as a whole, society tells us not to be weak or vulnerable, right? And that's bad, right? We put these labels on it. We, it's either good or bad, right? We really believe in this duality and why does everything have to be good or bad? Why can't it just be, right? Being weak or vulnerable doesn't mean anything. It's just you're weak and vulnerable because obviously I don't work out this left leg. So of course it's going to be weak and vulnerable. There's something bad about it. You just have to improve on it, right? So that's what I wanted to tell you. Forget what society says about being weak and vulnerable and avoid it. And when it comes up, shove it down and avoid it, run the other way or use, you know, when I was kickboxing, use your other leg, forget the other one, right? And I'm telling you, no, embrace it. Embrace the weakness and vulnerability because once you start to do that, that is when you really get strong, right? That is because you're actually sitting with it. You're really figuring out why you don't like it, right? Like what I did with kickboxing. And then when I started to realize that, that's when I was like, okay, I really need to kick with my left leg and focus on my form and, you know, why do I feel weird at these certain spots? And when you really start to be more curious instead of judgmental with it, that's when you start to become freaking amazing and so strong because you are not looking at it at that kind of lens, right? And so that's my challenge for you is maybe... Instead of, I mean, some of you guys, I mean, I've been, uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to point fingers here because I've clearly have done it many times too, but I won't start certain things, you know, like some people won't start a new activity because of it, right? Because of a fear of weakness, of vulnerability. We don't want to do that. We don't want to look retarded. We don't want to look like we don't know what we're doing. Your ego comes in, right? And so I really want to challenge you to embrace it, do it, and within no time you'll realize that you're going to be so amazing strong because when you stop putting those labels on it, not caring, and just focusing on it, the next thing you know you're going to be so amazing strong. So do that with a new activity or, you know, if you're already doing things like with the kickboxing, working on the side of you that isn't so amazing. You know, with yoga, they tell you that as well. You know, if you're doing a twist on a certain side and you are really flexible on that side, don't hold it that long and focus on the other side instead. So there you have it. Do that. Embrace the weakness and vulnerability. And when you do, then you are going to be so amazing strong. And I want to hear about it in the comments. Let me know where you applied this. And if you have any questions, send it to me at connect at jennyclary.net or leave comments below. I would love to help you out. And like, share, and comment. There you go. Take care. Bye.